live from Moscow, it's Saturday night. Well, here, it's Saturday afternoon, but it's still dark out. Well, it's actually about 16.30, so early evening, you could say. But anyway, we are here in Moscow City Space Park. And here we got a great view of the city. So this is kind of a way to celebrate Christmas, it's Christmas Eve. So I got a steak on the way, a ribeye, and a martini, and we're going to sit here and take it easy. I'm out for now, yeah, I have internet here so uh, that's why I can go live. Most of the places out there in the city there's no internet connection, at least no free internet. I can't go live very often. Marina and I are at the city space bar in Moscow. She got chicken. I got a ribeye. The ribeye was 2,500 rubles. And the current exchange rate is about 60 rubles per dollar. Naravitsa. How is the chicken? Good, good. Yeah, the steak is pretty good too. But of course you can see it's pretty small. So I haven't figured out what it is per ounce. 2,500 for looks like a maybe a six or eight ounce steak. I already ate some of it. There was another piece almost this size, but I ate some of that, so and I got uh, some grilled vegetables to go along with it. I got a martini. They have a, it's a Bombay Sapphire Martini. It's kind of weak. It didn't it didn't taste very strong at all. I mean, Marina got red wine. A nice place about this, this uh, the city space bar is the great view that you have in the city out there. You, know, you can see out in this direction where the lights are that is red square tv tower out there then the moscow business district over in that direction you get a great view of pretty much everything up here When I come to Moscow, I like to come to this place. It's kind of pricey, but I like it regardless. Hello again from the City Space Bar. Just finished my meal, almost. It was a ribeye. Usually what I like to do is eat it until there's only one bite left and then send it back and tell them it was undercooked or overcooked or whatever. Marina had the chicken. You said this chicken was delicious. It was a small chicken though. And that's the thing, you don't get very large portions here, especially when it comes to meat. Some other dishes, yeah, pastas and stuff like that, they're decently sized. But when you get a when you get meat, steaks and stuff like that, they're they're pretty small. This one well, I, I should have should have gone live here before I ate it, but uh, I would say it was about six or eight ounces. And a martini came in a glass like that. Nothing left here but the lemon. It was Bombay Sapphire. So I might have to get another one of those. I'm, st I'm still sober, so that's a problem. Anyway, one nice thing about this place is the view. I really like the view here. So I don't know if you were able to see that. Hopefully there wasn't too much reflection from the window. The view is really nice. I'm gonna sign off now. We're probably gonna head down to Red Square and take a look at the Christmas lights and maybe Pushkin Square. And that's on the way to the hotel. The hotel's fairly close to Pushkin Square. So we go to Red Square, which is there where all the lights are. That's, that's Red Square and St. David's Cathedral and all that. Go down there and then up that way, Bearskaya Boulevard is Pushin Square. And the hotel's all the way past that. We actually walked here. 
from the hotel. We first went to uh, the circus, we went to the Moscow Circus, but it was sold out. There were no tickets available until January. And then from there we walked, walked down through the city, worked, went to the Red Square, and uh, then walked along the river here. So I don't, I don't know how far it was. Probably took it maybe a two or three hours walk. We're gonna ride the Metro back, and there's a Metro station right down there somewhere. Not far from here. Get on the Metro, maybe ride it up to Red Square. Get off there, walk around Red Square, and then up to Pushkin Square. So I won't, probably won't be able to go live until then, or at least until I get back to the hotel. And then when I get back to the hotel, there's no reason to go live, so. Signing off. Dos Benaglia once again.